Hello, 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 and welcome to Courageously Kind. I'm Maddie. And I'm Liz. We're twin sisters and best friends. Together, we share stories of especially kind humans doing especially kind things in hopes that these conversations motivate and inspire you to be kinder to yourself and others. When we're not speaking with an incredible guest, we'll speak directly from our hearts about what it means to us to be courageously kind. This episode is the first episode of our summer series. Woo! So summer. These <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> we should leave that one. Okay. So these episodes are going to be less structured, more relaxed. It's basically just us giving you little updates about what's going on and a little thought-provoking topic for your week. Yeah, so definitely going to be less structured. I know we talked about this in one of our earlier I don't think it was last week's episode, but the week before, um, that we are planning ahead for season three of Courageously Kind, which is set to air this fall. So that being said, we are pouring a ton of time and energy into getting interviews recorded for the fall, but we didn't want to just kind of leave you high and dry. So we are doing sort of something different for the summer, um, like Liz explained. It's just going to be more casual, more candid, um, updates about our lives, some thoughts, and we'll give you little teasers of like what interviews we filmed that week and, um, yeah, just less structured, more candid. My chair is squeaky. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) So today we want to explain a little bit about where we're at in terms of courageously kind, but before we jump into that. We are going to start a new little segment for the summer. I like to call Keeping Up with Courageously Kai. I love that. We should change Courageously to like a K. And so oh my God, it's we like should. Courageously yeah. Kai. I don't I know why K seem more aggressive than C's, but yeah. 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 Like the Kardashians. Anyway. I love it. I'm hoping maybe at some point to do the little theme song. But not the new theme song, like the old theme song. Yeah, I know exactly you know? what you're talking about. I'm hoping maybe we could add it in. That might be copyrighted. But you know what? I was thinking about that, and then I thought, you know what? We're not that big. Maybe so we could get away with it? We, maybe we could fly under the radar for a little bit. We'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. Anyways, keep it up with Courageously Kind. So, Madeline, I'm going to ask you, what have we been up to this week? Nothing. No, I'm just kidding. Um, We actually were quite productive this week. What day was it? A Tuesday or Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. This past Wednesday. We were on the Positivity podcast i love saying it like that like it's spelled i'll write it out here um it's a little pun but um we were on the positivity podcast um talking about courageously kind they are an incredible podcast um that has a super similar message and mission that we do they started actually only a month before we did as well and um it's a mix of like high school seniors now graduating seniors, um, and college freshmen, so that sort of age range, just talking about good news and all that sort of stuff. Um, You will hear all about that when the episode comes out in a couple weeks. We will share that and share links to that, but it was so great to talk with Carter and with Kaylee from the Positivity Podcast. They were so sweet. It's, It's so weird when you're, like, emailing and, like, dming people Mm -hmm. because you feel like you get to know them and then you talk with them and you're like okay now we're best friends you know what i mean right yeah it's like now i know you know you right now we've really like made a connection and it's just kind of cool to be able to talk to people they're located out of um michigan i believe yeah i think you're right midwest it was one of the m's i think it's michigan um sorry (laughs) i'm gonna look that up before we post this episode and make sure that was right um but that was really fun and um a huge thank you to carter and kaylee for having us on yeah that was so much fun and unrelated to courageously kind last friday we went to a concert we did we went to go see the lumineers it was so fun it was so good i think it was the biggest show we've been to since covid happened Mm -hmm. we went to a show this january but you know we had to be masked and all that and it was a smaller venue and a smaller show it was still great we went to go see andy grimmer um a few months ago but the lumineers was like huge and it was outside and there was so like that was the biggest crowd i've been in in like two and a half years yeah. and it just felt so good 
Oh, it was so good. It was so fun. We both love live music, and we both love the Lumineers, and it was only a couple hours from our house, so we made the trip, and it was amazing. Live music is so good. So There's good. something so cool about, like, a people coming, a group of people coming together, like, just singing together and dancing together. It was so fun. It was, and I can sit here and talk about the Lumineers and live music all day. Me too. We could have a whole episode on it. We could. We should. Get the Lumineers on. Call them up. Call them up. <laughs> but we'd be here all day, and we probably would need a whole separate podcast show for that. So we're going to jump right into the episode and explaining the title, which is Courageously Kind Under Construction. I love the alliteration we have going on today. I'm obsessed. I'm a sucker for alliteration. Me too. So I love it so much. So, Courageously Kind is a little bit under construction. Like Maddie said, we're working really hard on season three. We want to, you know, have that really nice for you and really planned out and organized. You know, I think starting the podcast two years ago, it was really just a place for us to process really big things that were happening in the world and to help other people process that as well. We had no idea that we would be doing it for two years. Yeah, we had no idea. Am I doing it too? Hmm? We had no idea that we were going to be doing this podcast for two years now. And we really didn't think that far ahead. So we've been putting out episodes pretty consistently for two whole years. And that's not really normal for a podcast. It's not. You know, most podcasts sort of do like a season at a time, like a TV show where it runs for, you know, five or six months. Sorry. And um, five or six months, and then they take a break to work on producing the next season. So um, we we found that kind of putting out an episode every week didn't seem really sustainable. So we're really taking this time this summer to plan ahead and get ahead and just sort of be more structured and consistent with our recording and our production. Yeah, so that being said, we are still trying to navigate where Courageously Kind is headed. You know, we're trying to, you know, ask those really big questions of what are we doing? How can we make the world a kind of place? What direction are we moving in? And those are big questions and they're heavy questions. And I think they're questions that we all ask ourselves. How can I make a difference? How can I be a kinder person and make the world a kinder place? And I, I think these questions can make us feel really alone Mm -hmm. they're really big and like even questions like what's my purpose in this world how do I achieve that purpose they can be really daunting and it can be frustrating and scary not to have the answers Um, but we just want to let you know that we're all in the same boat you know we're all just trying to be better people and make a difference in this world and you have a community here with Courageously Kind all the people that listen to Courageously Kind and us um that are on this journey together. You know what I mean? Like we never want to be, um, we never want our message to feel like we have it all figured out and we are, you know, we know everything because we don't and we want to be super transparent about that. Um, We're all in the same boat and we're all learning and growing and on this journey of making a, a braver, kinder world together. Yeah. So these big questions of, What's our purpose? What are we doing here? How can I make the world a better place? They're good questions to be asking. Mm -hmm. But please don't let these questions consume you. Please don't uh, spend all of your day worrying about them. I think your time, your energy is more important than your fears and your worries. Mm -hmm. And please know that you are not alone in these questions. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good stuff. Good reminder to um, just keep in mind throughout your week and just in life in general, too. So, shifting gears a little bit, here are some updates. What's going on right now? As we said before, we are in the process of interviewing some lovely people that you will get to hear those conversations in the fall. Um, But we will be posting teasers on our Instagram and 
we'll talk all about it in our little sit down chat vlogs whatever and we have some exciting news a very exciting opportunity came our way would you like to talk about it liz sure so this week we are getting ready to speak at a leadership panel at a youth leadership conference in upstate new york what we are so excited about this and we want to thank bradley from tiktok of all places TikTok has been a, a crazy place. It has. A very magical place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so thank you so much, Bradley, for thinking of us. We're going to give you more content and more um, about that once it happens. We'll be <laughs> trying to remember to vlog the whole time and updating you on our Instagram. So if you want to follow along our journey at our first like big speaking engagement, Come check it out on our Instagram at Courageously Kind Podcast. And um, yeah, stay up to date. All things Courageously Kind on Instagram and TikTok at Courageously Kind as well. Have a great week. And we will see you back here real soon. Bye. We'd like to give a huge thank you to Anna Waltz Landscape Contracting for their support of Courageously Kind. Anna Waltz is a family-owned landscape contracting company in Berks County that has served Pennsylvania for over 35 years. If you're ready to get your landscaping project started, visit AnnaWaltzLandscape.com or call 610-916-7070. Anna Waltz Landscape Contracting, beautifying Pennsylvania one yard at a time. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this episode, feel free to share it with your friends, your family, or anyone you think might like it too. And if you want to support the show, leave us a review on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It really does help. Or check out our merch store at CourageouslyKind.org. Take good care, and we'll see you back here real soon.